Hey guys, I am Santosh and you are watching YouTube channel Fanuk PLC and CNC Tutorials. In this video, I am going to show you what is the data tables in the Fanuk PLC ladder. Let's start. On Fanuk CNC screen, the data table will look like this. See, these are the data table addresses. You can see here D0, D1, D2, D3, D4 and these are the data table serial numbers. Okay, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 like that. And you can see here uh, this data table address D0 is having a value 12. Okay, there is a 12 value inside this. Okay, so this value is used by Fanuc ladder. Okay, so let's start. So Fanuc ladder requires some numerical data or values. For example, to store the total full number of turret or ATC. So whenever you are using an example, you are using a 12 station turret. Okay, so you have to inform to the PLC ladder that you are using a total 12 station turret. So that can be done through data table address. So you have to select one data table address and put value 12 in that address and that address is used in the turret ladder. Okay. We set these numerical values in data table addresses and use these addresses in PLC ladder. Okay. The contents of these data tables can be set freely and read freely means you can use any data table address for any function in ladder so each data table address having a size of one byte two byte or four byte size okay and these data table addresses are non volatile memory addresses okay means non volatile means uh, whenever you switch on the cnc power of the values of these data table will not be erased. Okay. Data set in data tables can also be easily read and written with sequence program using function instructions such as data search, binary, and uh, XMOVB index modification data transfer. Means uh, we are when we are using the feed or write switch ladder, Pindle speed or write switch ladder, there we are using this instruction XMOVB in that ladder. So there, for this instruction, you have to use the data table addresses there. So in Fanuc, there are a range of data table addresses available. You can use into the ladder file. Okay, see, for high level CNC, PMC, you can use the total 10,000 bytes are available. So starting from D0 to D999, you can use any number between these ranges. Okay, and similarly, if low level PM, PMC, like made, made td like that so then you can use the maximum up to 3000 bytes like from starting at this d0 to d2999 okay total 3000 bytes these are the ranges you can use the data table addresses in your ladder so application of data table addresses is funoc ladder so in which ladder we are mostly using these data table addresses when you are using turret ladder there you have to inform to ladder that you are using how many number of uh, tools okay so use the data, data table address when you are writing a feed or write switch ladder when you are writing a spindle speed or write switch ladder see when you are you when you are, when you are writing a feed or write switch ladder no there will be a total 16 positions so 16 values are there so at one time only one position is selected so that value is uh, given to a ladder file ladder okay so that values are feed or write values are sent in the data table addresses and those data table addresses are used in ladder and even atc tool magazine ladder tool change ladder okay and spindle load monitor ladder and and many more wherever you want to read and write values in ladder there we have to use data table addresses okay so these are the applications of use of data table addresses so now i will show you example for how to use a data table address in fanuc plc ladder okay so for example see i have i have set a value in data table address d0 i have set value 12 for total two numbers of turret so this i am using in ladder in turret ladder okay let's say uh, i have some turret ladder here i am writing so i am using this compare instruction here Okay, so this is my output. See here, I will use a one. So here I will enter that D zero address. 
okay and here i will enter full number code signal f signal so this is my uh, this i will so just one address on address so this is f sign point b and here i will use one output let's say r hundred point zero so this address is storing the total two numbers okay tools what two number new two number t code okay new code so how it will happen this compare instruction will compare we have to check actually we have to send set a 13 value okay actually we have to set a 13 value see 13 so how it will work whenever i call tool number 12 uh, when there is no issue whenever i call tool number 10 there is no issue whenever i call tool number 13 so here it is a 13 and here also 13 will come both equal this output is on this this bit will create alarm okay let's say i will take alarm bit here a 0, 0.0 okay so whenever I, here already 13 is set and if i call again tool number 13 here also 13 will come both are equal this output will on wrong tool alarm okay or if i call tool number 14 here 13 is there and here 14 is there then uh, the value of f 6 is greater than this then also it is on okay so if i call tool number 13 or greater than that the alarm will come this output is on wrong tool number 14 okay like this simple so you you have to set a 13 and this 13 both equal this output is on or if you call 14 and whenever you call 14 the 14 value will come inside f26 okay so the value of f26 is now greater than d0 then output is on so here 13 is fixed okay so if i call regular tool number if i call tool number 8 then 8 will come inside this then the value of f26 is less than this then output is off there is no alarm whenever i call from tool number 1 to tool number 12 that is will that will run okay if i call tool number 13 or 14 that is not valid a tool this alarm will come so this whenever you call any tool number the tool number will come inside this f26 that is the there so my intention is to tell you how the data table we are using in ladder actually this video is for data table okay so here i am using the data table address and i will set a value inside this 13 on screen okay here i will set actually 13 here okay so then this so like this way we can utilize we can use the data table address in ladder that i am trying to explain you in this video okay and you can use any data table address between ranges from d0 to d d999 any data table address you can use it's up to you okay so like this way we can use the data table addresses in fanuc plc ladder okay so this is the video for data tables okay thank you for watching this video bye